when I tell you that the Sonic and Dragon Ball Z fan base are eating, I am not playing! What's up everyone, it's your boy Sonic Boy back at it again with another video. And honestly, it, it seems like I just uploaded something like yesterday. Yeah, let, let, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what we got coming for this year for our Dragon Ball fans and us Sonic fans. I'm telling you guys, I am not playing what I'm saying. I feel like we just... We're going to be eating good this year. We already got Dragon Ball Sparking Zero coming, which is going to be a beautiful game. I'll talk about that later. On top of that, we're going to get uh, another DLC for Dragon Ball Kakarot, which is End of Z, which I love that game. I pretty much finished it on Switch, and I also have that on PlayStation. But I don't, you know, I haven't gone as far on PlayStation as I did on Switch because, you know, I already beat the game before. But on top of that, they just wanted to spoil us Dragon Ball fans with just showing us just a preview of just the beauty that is Dragon Ball Diamond. So I'm one of those people that I like pretty much almost any sort of Dragon Ball content except Dragon Ball Super Heroes. I, I don't know why. I just don't care about that. Not Dragon Ball Super Heroes, Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, I just... I don't care. But Dragon Ball Daima, like, oh my god, the animation, I don't, I'm, I'm, a, I have mixed feelings about, you know, Goku being a kid again, because they're like, yeah, we, we have that with GT, and I'm just like, just make GT canon, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. But on the Sonic side, oh my god, did we have stuff already come in last year, where we had Superstar, we had, um... Sonic Prime Season 3 finish up, and that show was phenomenal. I, I'm one of those who I enjoyed the whole ride there. It did feel a little bit corny because it was a kid's show, but other than that, like, quality show. And then for this year, guys, you do remember that we have Sonic 3 coming out in, in the movie, like, at the end of the year, December. So we have that to look forward to. And then for the state of play, Sega Wonder Drop, this immaculate trailer that is Sonic X Shadow Generations, and we'll, we'll talk about that later, but like, yo, we, we gotta, I, I gotta keep things going from, from one thing to another. First, first we'll, we'll talk about Dragon Ball, and then we'll talk about Sonic, alright? All I'm, I'm getting too hyped, so, so let's get into it, alright? Alright, so, Dragon Ball Sparking. Before I talk about the stuff that I like about the game, where I'm pretty hyped for it, let me just knock out the one thing that just grinds my gears when it comes to this, these kind of games. Listen closely to this. Why does everything I like have to be on a next-gen console? I'm broke. Okay, besides that, I, I am truly excited for this game. I'm, I already have it wishlist on PlayStation just because I want it that badly. Um, I really not that familiar with the Budokai games because I didn't actually own them. Fool this man! No! Uh, I got to play them through a bunch of friends, so I got exposure to it. But I'm not like a diehard. But I just love the way that this, the way the game plays. I love how it, the battles just always seem intense whenever you see somebody playing the game. And then this one, oh my god, they just turned everything up to the freaking max, man. Like, the way they have these transformations look, the way that we still have giant transformations, thank god. I'm just, the character roster, 150 characters, oh! You spoiling, and you know we gonna get DLC. I'm, I'm hoping we don't get the Xenoverse 2 treatment where they just 
give us this and we never get another game because there's no way a game like this that people have been clamoring for, been whining for, been yelling for, to God praying for, for years and we finally get it and then you just don't give us a sequel because you know this game's going to sell. Uh, you know they're going to start complaining like we did with Universe 2. You don't want to hear that, Bondi. So once you make that money, hey, you better be thinking about making another sequel. Keep this series going. But other than that, man, just just know that I'm high. I'm going to try my best to get a PS5 and get this game. Or at least get this on PC. Because I know they're going to put mods on this. So if you guys can help your boy out, I really appreciate that. But other than that, man, let's talk about Dragon Ball Kakarot. Okay, so Dragon Ball Kakarot. Now, I don't know if you guys have played this game, but I know for a fact, from my experience, this game is phenomenal. It would be really disappointing if we didn't get a sequel for this, but at the same time, it's one of those games that I feel like it could be like a one-and-done type thing, and like we don't have to get another one. But, like I said, I would love to get a sequel to this, and at the same time, the fact that we're getting more DLC, and this DLC at least keeps into the continuity of Dragon Ball Z, where we're at least getting end of Z. It's a little sad that we're not gonna get GT, maybe that might be a future DLC, or like I said, we get a Kakarot 2, and they can start implementing some more super uh, storylines, or some GT storylines, that would, that would be awesome, but... Just the fact that we're gonna go against and experience the fight that Goku had with U, I, I'm hyped for that. I know a lot, of, a lot of people are real excited for that because they want to, like I said, they want to get some like GT content or let's say some Dragon Ball, like at least some of the movies. Like if I could get one movie uh, DLC in here, I would have loved to get get Fusion Reborn just so I could fight against Janimba. That's my, that's always gonna be my favorite Dragon Ball villain. But besides that, like I said, I'm super hyped for what's coming for this game. I know I'm probably going to at least get this DLC for PlayStation. Like, I already have it on uh, Switch, but I don't feel like redoing everything again on PlayStation. One day I might get the urge to do it. I, I might have the funds to get all the DLC again and just be like, you know what, fuck it. I'll just do it. But as of right now, I'm just, I did everything on Switch and I'm, I'm good with that. I'll uh, casually play this again on PlayStation, but I, I know for a fact I'm probably going to get the, the End of Z uh, DLC. Oh, I, I didn't even get to play the um, one that he did in the tournament w uh, with, uh, King, with, with, with Piccolo. So I still have to do that DLC too, so that's two story arcs that I haven't even got to touch yet. But let me, guys, like, let me know what you guys think about Kakarot at least, because I know not a lot of people are, are excited about this game because they thought that, you know, the game was dead, but I, I still think this game was beautifully made. But let's go on to the next topic, which is Dragon Ball Dama. Like, oh my god! Okay, so Dragon Ball Dama. Ah, god, I'm. The fact that we're just getting another series, like another anime, just lights the fire in my very, very dead, cold heart. But anyway, I, I'm pretty excited for the fact that we're getting a new anime. I'm also wanting to know, if we're getting Dragon Ball Daima, where is Dragon Ball Super Season 2? Like, come on. Like, you can't give us a new anime, but at the same time not finish up your other anime, but keep the manga going. Like, that, is, that confuses me. That just puddles me. But like I'm saying, I, I'm pretty excited for how this show is looking. I like the way the animation is looking like. It looks like they really are trying to go all out with this one. I like the fact that this one has Toriyama more in, like, he's dealing with this more than, uh, you know, explaining the company takeover. I just, I could say more about it, but at the same time, we don't have a lot of information. We just have a trailer, and we just have a little bit of a synopsis of what was released online. Uh, but other than that, guys, if you guys have some stuff that are concerns about the show, let me know about it in the comments. But we're going to keep this video going. We're talking about the boy. We need to talk about Sonic and Shadow. So, if anybody can think about it, well, the last time we were able to play Sonic Generations on console was literally when it came out for PS3 and Xbox. And, I mean, you had it for stream, and that's pretty much the most 
the basic way you can play it now, but just the fact that we can play it again on next-gen consoles. And it's, on, it's one of the better Sonic games, in my opinion. I know we had Sonic Colors Ultimate, and that was terrible. But I'm pretty sure Sega has learn from this mistake because we got games like Sonic Frontier and that game is pretty awesome for a open world Sonic game. Like we haven't had that another pretty ambitious game. So for them to go after another remaster and to also give us the greatness that is Shadow added to it, I'm just I'm I'm so hyped for it. Like I have seen some videos where people are like, oh, this is no use for it. I'm going to tell you guys, shut up. I, I, I don't need that negativity right now. Like, I need some Sonic goodness, and they're trying to deliver, and I'm not going to let them stop this positive train, okay? Um, I, hopefully, this coincides with the Sonic movie, because they also announced, or at least showed the logo for the Sonic 3 movie, and... <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys, I shed a little tear when I saw that it was pretty much like the logo from Adventure 2. Like, I knew that they had to implement that somehow, but to pretty much make that the mainstay of the, the, the main focus of the logo for the movie, that y'all did that for the fans. I, if you guys have any thoughts on Sonic X Generations or at least Sonic Movie 3, just let me know in the comments. I'll probably make a video about that for itself. But I just want to make something just to compile my thoughts because we have just an incredible week of just stuff being dropped for uh, uh, both of these series. Like Dragon Ball with Sparking Zero, with uh, Kakarot, and then Daima, and then Sonic with Sonic X Shadows, and then they're just showing us the freaking Sonic 3 movie logo. And then on top of that, we're apparently supposed to be getting some mobile games. Like, we got a, like, we're eating this year, guys. Like, I don't know if you guys understand that. Like, we're, I'm, I'm feeling so full, but I want more. Like, you cannot stop this hunger train. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff that we've got coming. I just, oh my god, the fact that we got black, like, oh my god. I'm trying to speak right now, but I'm so excited. I wish I could have done like a live reaction to this, but I didn't have a camera around. And when they announced this, I'm like at work, and I'm like, that's the worst time to drop stuff, guys. Like, I can't make any content then. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. I'll probably make more of a video about Sonic X Shadow Generations if you guys want to know about my thoughts about it. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm hyped and I'm trying to make some more videos. I'm, I'm also going to try to put out an update video about the channel later on uh, so I can let you guys know what my goals are for 2024. That way everything is more organized and more detailed. I just wanted to put something out there just because I, I'm hyped and I needed to make a video about something. and. <laughs> Oh, Sega and Bandai delivered. Thank you. But anyway, it's your boy Sonic Boy, and I'm speeding my way out of here. Don't write the music. Let the music write itself. Okay.